Hey there, here are your top news stories from eWeek, sponsored by Dell and Intel. According to a December 19th Reuters report, soon cars from many automakers could feature a version of Google's Android operating system built directly into the vehicles. According to Reuters, Google could announce plans for integrating Android directly into cars when it rolls out Android M, the successor to its recently released Android 5.0 Lollipop operating system, sometime next year. Google did not confirm nor deny the report. In an email, the company merely noted that it does not comment on rumors and speculation. Fed up by tech support scams, Microsoft announced that it is filing a federal lawsuit against a company that is allegedly foisting unneeded and potentially dangerous services on its customers, announced Courtney Gregory, senior attorney at Microsoft's Digital Crimes Unit, in a December 8th blog post. The company in question is Los Angeles-based Omnitech Support. Microsoft's research indicates that more than one-third of Americans fall for such scams after being contacted. One year ago, Barry Evans was abruptly closing the doors of Calexia, the company he founded in 2008, and a pioneer in developing low-power ARM-based chips for use in servers for scale-out data center environments. Now, Calexia's technology is re-emerging with a company called Silver Lining Systems, which is developing compute and storage servers that will leverage the IP Calexia developed from the SOCs to the fabric and will begin to introduce those systems early next year. A new vulnerability has been reported and patched in the widely used open source Git source code management system. The vulnerability impacts Git clients running on Windows and Mac OS X. Git is used by developers on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS X and includes both a host server side component and a local client on developer machines. Git is also the open source technology behind the popular GitHub code repository. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.